What is going on guys, this is Johnny here of Fresh Commenting YouTube and welcome back to another video in the Android Studio app development tutorials and this time we're actually going to finish our app. Yes, finally, after so many videos, I think this is the fifth one and now we are finally done with the basic app, with the basic contact manager, but as I already mentioned in the previous tutorial, we are actually going to be making a more advanced version of this app pretty soon, so we are going to keep um, this app and we're going to extend it in the yeah, next couple of tutorials, I don't know. Okay, so now what all we have to do, all that's left, is actually we have to populate our list with all the stuff, uh, all the contacts we added. So to do that we're gonna use a list view, or our list view for all the contacts. So up here I'm just gonna quickly create a list view, and usually you have to import this, um, but I think it's already imported apparently. Um, and I'm just gonna call this contact list view and yes I think that's about it alright so then we are actually going to need to um, assign this variable up here our list view and we're just gonna do that by typing contact okay contact that's interesting contact list view equals two and we are gonna use the same method as above find view by id r dot id dot list view simple as that okay so now we assigned our list view and now what we want to do we want to actually populate our list view each time we're going to click this button up here so we're going to need to set an adapter to do this um... what i'm going to do i'm going to create an external void or function or whatever so it's not external but i'm just going to make a new void right here and we're just going to call this populate list okay and what I'm gonna do we're gonna need the area adapter because we created this um, contact list adapter and that's exactly what we're going to need so I'm just gonna do array adapter and right here you can see that it says extends area adapter contact so this is basically just the type and now I'm just gonna call this adapter and this equals to a new contact list adapter like that okay and now all we have to do to actually get this working, uh, we're just going to need the list view we created, so it was called contact list view. And we're gen then we're just going to do contact list view dot set adapter and boom. And now all we have to do is pass through the adapter. So now it's actually the adapter is set for all the contacts and that's already about it I guess so this is actually all we have to do for this function so we could also move this up here but I just like to keep things organized I know it doesn't really look that organized but okay who cares so once we added the contact we actually want to um, populate our list so we are just gonna type populate list <laughs> that's it so we're just gonna call the function each time someone clicks the button because that's actually going to create a contact so it's gonna add the contact to the contact list and then we're going to uh, populate the list that's all we have to do okay so this is actually about it for the app I guess so let's take a look and see how it works okay so here we are in our app and now let's just create a test contact we're gonna add a phone number just a random one random numbers and an email which is just test at c manage dot com and the address is manage manager c a six <laughs> okay um so now we're just gonna hit add contact and now it's gonna say test has been added to your contact so if we go to this list right now we can see that this contact has been added and this is actually it looks like now so we can just add another one so we could just do test 2 change some stuff here actually we don't need to change stuff but I'm just gonna keep it at that and now let's just use dot org and a f 8 now add the contact now test 2 has been added and as you can see those contacts are getting added to this uh, list right here so we could extend this and go on and on and all that and I could even add something that it's actually gonna put up some options to call this person or to navigate to the address or to 
go to this email address and send them an email. And this is exactly what we're going to do in the advanced tutorial series, but right now we got a basic app, it's fully working, and as you can see you can add your contacts, but of course it's not stored anywhere, so whenever we close the app our contacts are going to be gone. So we are basically going to do this in the advanced tutorial series, so we're going to store this on the user's device and we're going to exit it from there. So we're al always going to save all the contacts he created. Um, so yeah guys, I can just say, um, thanks for watching my tutorials, I hope it really helped you. I think it's quite helpful to kind of uh, participate in this whole project. I'm also going to be putting all my projects on GitHub or somewhere, so you will actually have access to the whole source code and that's really going to be an awesome thing guys, so you can just look at my code and not watch my videos all the time. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. My name is Johnny, of Project on YouTube, and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial series where we're going to be extending the functionality of our very basic contact manager app. Thanks for watching again, and I see you soon. Bye.